Continuing coverage here tonight, it's now been more than a decade, of course, since the flood of 28, 2008. The city of Cedar Rapids has been securing new funding for its ongoing flood control system for the future. So with that in mind, let's go live right now to KWWO Cedar Rapids reporter Michelle White with more on what's going to be done with this funding. Ron, today the city of Cedar Rapids unveiled how it will allocate funding from the American Rescue Plan Act to speed up construction on flood control projects in the city's northwest neighborhoods. There will also be changes to the flood control master plan for long-term maintenance and appearance. Starting in 2022, the city will be building an up and over road on O Avenue and a levee in, and a levee in that area. And starting in 2023, moving Ellis Boulevard to the west and over a levee to highlight the park and hide the flood control systems. The mayor says the city is prioritizing the west side. Flood protection has been a critical issue for us and for this community. We don't have any federal help. We're still asking for federal help. We'll keep asking for federal help. But right now, uh, the city has to fund the west side and we're committed to doing that. That flood control system in the Northwest neighborhood will cost $10.2 million, which is coming from the $28.2 million the city was awarded from the American Rescue Plan Act. And Ron, today's announcement was to fine tune the proportion of that funding that was going to be used for flood control projects. Reporting live in Cedar Rapids, Michelle White, New 7, KWWL. And Michelle, hey, thank you for the update. In addition, of course, some of the money the city will use, social services, workforce training and education, flood control, as you mentioned, and also the city's lost revenue caused by the ongoing pandemic.